The radio station you're listening to is WBOX, broadcasting at a frequency of 1460 AM. The flagship station of Whitney Radio. This is WBOX. Okay, we are here. Um, this is Ernie Davis, Conversations with the Mayor. It's the name of the show. You can reach us at 636-0110, or you can listen live at wvox.com. Um, from time to time, you know, as you get older and you see uh, young folks who evolve into, um, you know, uh, big, a big dynamic force, um, uh, you're forced to smile, and uh, I have a young man here uh, that when I was running for, I met him when I was running for um, county legislator in nine, some years ago, 1983, I believe it was. And uh, his name was DeWitt De De Gilmore then, um, and now he is uh, Relentless Aaron. Um, and... Uh, he's in the studio, and he's a um, promoter, he's a novelist, and he's just having a good time uh, doing very positive things. And so let's get into what shaped this young man and why he, why he does what he does. You know, we, we talk about the young generation, and, and sometimes we omit the, the ones that's making a, a, a mark, and uh, we want to so sort of change that and so welcome to the stu studios relentless thank you <laughs> how you doing i'm doing marvelous it's a it's a great life at this point uh, but you've always ever since when you were a teenager i knew that uh, some people you just know are gonna make a mark uh, one way or the other you're going to approach you know. and that's why he had me going door to door for him uh campaign yeah, oh boy. yeah you i didn't understand it, it but i understand it now <laughs> oh good it's good to see you man and, and, and doing all this stuff you've written a lot of books um let me say a little bit about him relentless Heron is an author publisher visionary and founder of relentless llc uh, producing a diversified group of media properties that include over 30 well-written books, news letters, video, and internet productions. Relentless Aaron was born in New York and took his pen name from his relentless drive and his baseball hero, Hank Aaron. Over the last three years, Relentless Aaron has made history in the literary world. He's established as a presence on television, radio, print, and more than 150 literary and social events throughout the country. Relentless has um, self-published 10 top-selling novels, including Push, Extramarital Affairs, Platinum Dolls, The Last Kingpin, To Live and Die in Harlem, Topless, Sugar Daddy, a rappers are in danger and has inspired more than a million readers. Relentless Heron has been featured in New York Times, ABC World News, uh, Book Television, um, and Vibe Magazine, W, um, I'm sorry, YRB, Today's Black Man, AOL, Black Voices, and National Public Radio, NPR, as well as other radio stations across the world. Uh, sponsored by the popular 300 million uh, a year clothing giant, South Pole, Relentless spearheaded a year-long readers or leaders cam literacy campaign. The program is geared towards promoting literacy and encouraging the younger generation to read. Now, he has signed a 14-book deal with St. Martin's Press. Relentless Heron has proven himself to be relentless, amazing, and the biggest contributor to hip-hop fiction. 
uh, this foundation is the start of a huge extravaganza that will produce diverse content and will explore the lives of individuals from many different cultures and backgrounds. Welcome, Relentless. Yeah. Uh, you've been quite busy. Yeah, to say the least. And your, your office is in Mount Vernon? Absolutely. Close. You were born in Mount Vernon. I mean, um, well, you know, I was born in White Plains, right? but no, oh, I was born in White Plains. Grew up in um, and I grew up in Mount Vernon. So as, as far as I can remember back, um, I I was a I was a toddler at, in Mount Vernon. Bro, bro, uh, grew up on Vernon Place, actually, on mm -hmm. the north side. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad, actually, I have generations. I'm part of generations of entrepreneurs. My grandmother used to run a, a greeting card shop, and that was in Vogue, um, on Prospect Avenue. And that was there on Prospect between Bramerton and um, where the taxi cab stands are. I forgot what that's, oh, yeah. that's called. That's second, second Avenue. Third, Third Avenue. Avenue, right. Third, North Third. And so um, that evolved into my dad then uh, opening up, with, I think, that same store. He took that store over. And then he had a chain of stores. And um, uh, throughout Mount Vernon, and uh, I think we inevitably we he 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 maintained the one on Sanford and Third, and um, it was a deli, and uh, eventually uh, he wanted to expand it. I think he got a, he sold the house and he moved to the south side of town, and uh, which was a culture shock in itself because you're coming from the north side to the south side, you know, you, there's different states of mind there, you know, um, the haves and the have not, so to speak. You know, mm -hmm. even though I grew up in a, I grew up in an entrepreneur's home, so it wasn't necessarily a spoon, you know, silk spoon uh, household, but um, it was, it was, it was what it was. So uh, I, I moved over to the south side of town and to a one-bedroom apartment, two one-bedroom apartment, slept, you know, uh, side by side with my sisters, parents. And how many, how many siblings do you have? I had two sisters, mm -hmm. and um, are you? Are you the youngest? Uh, I'm the oldest. And You're the oldest? Yeah. Oh, I always maybe. thought you were the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I maintain that young look. Thank you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that on everyone uh -huh. who's deserving. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, my dad um, expanded the business, and he moved. He expanded that entire corner from a, just a deli into a liquor store, and then he took over the bar, if you remember, right. um, down the block. So that was all one enterprise. And um, um, I grew up in that environment, um, not necessarily just in the business environment, but also in, quote unquote, the ghetto. I mean, this isn't the hardest ghetto in the world. It's not like it's Compton, but it's, but it's, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, so I found myself. So you got a little street life experience. You know, it was, but it wasn't necessarily just Mount Vernon street life. Um, as I um, expanded on my own horizons, um, I learned the subway system and I, you know, got out of Mount Vernon and went off on my own. And I, I, How old were you then? When you went I probably was, um, when I was venturing out on my own, probably 12 and 13 years old because um, my dad was always running the business and now I understand that how he put so many hours into it and my mom even was working so it, it enabled me the um, I guess the leverage <laughs> to to be mischievous mm -hmm. and so um, uh, at the same time I still learned to be a cashier at age 10 I still learned to run a deli at age 10 because a lot of times dad would leave and he would leave it in my care um, um, uh, I learned, I, I mean, at age 10, I was selling liquor. I mean, I was behind it. The, he had the bulletproof glass up, and a customer would ring the buzzer, and that, that would be heard in the deli. I would run through the back door, serve that customer his pint of wild Irish rose, and then run back to the to the to the deli it was a uh, it was a self-contained operation <laughs> that sure uh miners aren't supposed to sell uh liquor but hey you know uh, i guess i guess um it, it's hard it's hard being me <laughs> so i'm speaking on behalf of my dad it's hard being me so um so that's the environment I grew how's up he in. doing now how's your dad doing um he, he well um 
uh, my life and times are, are real wayward and as described in many of my books and um, uh, we we had been partners at, to some degree at one point I actually helped him move the business into the Bronx remember we had the um, we had the club in Mount Vernon and it kind of outgrew Mount Vernon because the the environment of, of that neighborhood really wasn't conducive to have an adult entertainment complex um, so we moved it down into the Bronx where it was more commercial.